It is with much pleasure to welcome you once again on behalf of the National Peace Council to the fourth in the series of dialogues in finding a lasting solution to vigilantism in the country. At our last meeting in this very venue, held on May 27th and 28th, we issued a communique in which we agreed to present a working document on a roadmap for your kind consideration. The roadmap, as was communicated, was to take into account the submissions by stakeholders present at the dialogue. I am happy to inform you that the National Peace Council has been able to put together a draft of the roadmap for your kind consideration. I'm aware that the Secretariat of the National Peace Council has given you copies of the draft roadmap. Distinguished leaders, in the same communique we, is we issued in May, it was agreed that the code of conduct designed by the National Peace Council will be considered as one of the deliverables in the preparation of the roadmap. In pursuit of this obligation, the MPC provided a draft copies of the Code of Conduct also for your attention. It is our greatest hope that we will approach this process as we have always done with open mind, respect for each other, and above all, love of our country, Ghana. Distinguished leaders of the New Patriotic Party National Democratic Congress, stakeholders, let me seize the opportunity to remind us that we cannot afford to fail Mother Ghana and its people. I therefore humbly appeal to you that let's continue with the momentum so that we all win in this journey which we started on April 9, 2019. Ghanaians and the international community are waiting patiently to see what will be what we will be able to do. There are those who doubt whether we will be able to come up with anything at all. Let's prove our critics wrong by rising up to the occasion once again and do Mother Ghana good. <laughs> 